This is Robert Thousand. Hear how his faith has changed and continues to change his life. So I was born in Perth, Western Australia to migrant parents, um, Italian, Maltese, and um, I was a normal teenage boy growing up, playing football, not uh, interested in church, um, interested in girls, and gr growing up in a Catholic family, but not really knowing what faith and personal encounter with Christ was about. My mother forced me, as Italian mothers can, forced me to um, go to a Redemptress Father's mission. And I went to the youth night and I sat in the back row and this young priest was preaching about Jesus. And he preached about Jesus in a way that I knew that he knew Jesus. And I wanted to find out how he could know Jesus. So we spent some time talking after the service and I uh, went and had time with him over a few weeks and I thought I had a, a vocation to the priesthood. So my first conversion was when I was 17 and um, I left Perth at, my, at 17 and I went to Geelong and studied with the Redemptorist Fathers. And then from Geelong after I left Geelong I went to the University of Newcastle and at the University of Newcastle I knew that I didn't have a vocation to the priesthood. And um, the university evangelised me to its ways and um, when I finished my degree in, in arts and literature, I went to Brisbane where my parents moved to. And when I went to Brisbane, I ran into the Emmanuel community, I ran into a new way of experiencing God and I was converted again. At 27, I got married and we had four children. And in the middle of all of that, I started a business. The business life evangelized me and um, I needed I needed evangelizing again. And at 47 years of age, I went on retreat, I went to the United States, and I discovered my call, and I gave my heart and my mind and my strength and my gifts to God, and I started Men Alive. The point of that story is to say this, looking back over my life now, and reflection is a, is a, is a valuable tool, I've needed many conversion experiences. I've needed many times for God to grab me from facing this way or facing this way and turn me back to the direction of my life. Turn me back to where I needed to go. Turn me back to Him. So my life has been like that. Encounter with God, drift away. Encounter with God, drift away. I have had these moments, which I call conversion moments, but the ingredients of the conver conversion moments is this. I ran into the crisis of me. I ran into difficult moments. I ran into difficult relationships. I ran into the flawed character. I ran into my moral weaknesses. I ran into the inadequacy of Robert for life. And I ran into deep need in me that could only be satisfied, could only be reached or touched, helped by this God that I keep experiencing Him loving me in the middle of all of this crisis. And that's, that's what I mean by conversion. We don't change because we genuinely, I don't change. Let's talk about me. I don't change because I need to change. I change because life needs me to change. It affects me things happen and then I change. That's the way for me it's worked.